Right, I'm now going to do the same test with uh, this commercial made one to uh, four to one balance. As you can see, it's this pretty much the same. Slightly lower than the one that I've made. Slightly lower up the top end of the band, but you get the, you get the gist. This is it testing balance. So all the way up to the top of uh, ten meters, and all the way down to one sixty. So that's the that's the kind of curve you're looking for with a four to one balance with a two hundred ohm load on. Right, let's plug it into some antennas. Actually, before we disappear, before we do go and plug it into an antenna, let me show you something else. Because this load is uh, it's going to be pretty much right, if I show you um, the multi SWR, I, I tried to show you that the other day, and because only the uh, only had two dipoles on, it didn't show you the rest of the frequencies. But there we go. That's what it would look like if you had, say, something like a a uh, an off center fed dipole or a Wyndham. That's what you'd be expecting. You'd be expecting all these all these bands to be uh to be nice each each one. So there you go. That's that's multi SWR. Right, now onto some antennas. Right, now the antenna is plugged into my nest of dipoles. We did see this the other day, but I'll just do it all in so it's all to do with the uh the AA two thirty Pro. Um, right, let's set the frequency to to 80 meters. Right, here's 80 meters. We'll move the. Uh, I don't want this whole graph to cover 14 megs, so I'll put that down to by pressing the down button. I'll put it down to. Uh, there you go. That's all of all of 80 meters. We saw this the other day on another video. So that's my 80 meter dipole. If I go to um, show SWR, we were doing the, we did the same thing the other day, didn't we? I think it went down to uh, to 1.1 the other day. Yeah, the luck of the draw. I can't get any more than lesser than uh, 1.05 today. So it's the wind blowing my antenna about out there, guys. Right, let's show you the uh show you all. So just over fifty ohms. It's not bad, it's pretty effective. Right, onwards to um forty meters. Right, we can we can even type the, we can even press the button number two. We can even press number two and type the number in, or we can press set, press zero. It gives us the option of which band, so if you're lazy. Then uh, the left and right button will change the frequency. So we'll come down to, uh, I think it was about there somewhere the other day, wouldn't it? Right, now I'm going to press go. Yeah, I was close. It was, uh, it's there. Oh, that looks pretty good. 7.123. So if we have a look at the SWR there, well, there we go. It speaks for itself. Right, let's go and have a look actually then what it is. Yeah, pretty much bang on. Um, 50 ohms, you can see it's nearly, it's just flashing there. Nearly zero. Nearly 50, there we go, so it's 50 ohms, 7.114, that's the uh, 40 meter dipole. So I've showed you, I've showed you the show wall function, I've showed you the scan SWR function, you can adjust it, so you can, you can, um, you can type the frequency in, you can, you can adjust the range, you can show the SWR, I don't want to use this function much. This shows you the R and the X at the same time. Uh, let me show you some other functions, like the load, the load function. Yeah, number nine. Actually, let's carry, let's do that on the next one. This video is getting long.